So what we got here is the Alora Nerd. She is sanding uh, some of the rust off and some of the other debris and little burrs, things like that. Also, she's using mineral spirits to get all the dust and get it super clean so that we can put a piece of metal over it. So this is what we got. Uh, Grandpa Nerd's prying out. You can see the part there. We took out the bottom row of rivets, so we got to bend it out now so we can slide a piece of sheet metal up in there and then re-rivet it back down. Yeah. As you can see, we're not professionals. And there's my lovely wife. Yes, my beautiful babe. She is uh, grinding off all the adhesives and glues and the burrs and things like that, making it nice and smooth so we can put on our butyl tape and all that kind of stuff. Get a nice fit. Yep. And here comes our second wall. This is uh, almost an eight foot length, so 101 and a half inches. And we're gonna raise it up there. We're gonna use our lever action. Yeah, a little teeter-totter thing we kind of use to pry it up into position. Yeah, I really did like using all these uh, um, pallets. It kind of made up a, a, a nice platform to work from. So we just smooth the bus around it. And it was free. Yeah, they're all free. Yeah, if you look around, you can find pallets. You just got to look. People don't want them. Yeah, one of the issues we had is that when we cut all the, all the weird cuts we did in the back to kind of raise the roof up, uh, we mangled it. Uh, we bent it all up. So, uh, it... it I mean, we'll get it fixed out eventually and get it all prettied up. At least good enough for us. This ain't like we're making a roulette table. Uh, but Grandpa was over there prying and prying. We had to get it so we could slide that, that piece of sheet metal up in there like that. Yeah. And again, we used the... Uh... <laughs> Whack! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We'd get it pried up into position and then we would put a bolt in the middle just to hold it. And then we could tweak it all over around from there. So Talk to him. I'm going to introduce Chris. Hi, everybody. This is Chris, my friend's, uh, friends, friends, friends. boyfriend. He gave us a, a hand today. Everybody say hi to Chris. Hey, Chris. Chris, open up the Nomad Nerd. 
<laughs> the nerd herd. The nerd herd. There you go. <laughs> I'm part of the nerd herd now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get the Can I what? Can you see me? Can I what? Peck. I'm like a bird. Peck. From somebody who's afraid of birds. I know. <laughs> Thanks. That was on. <laughs> now, what we did here is uh, we drilled the holes. Once we got it lined up the way we wanted, and we just worked our way out from the center. And then uh, we went down. From the center, we went down, and then we went out from there. Uh, it seemed to work. Yeah, you can see he's drill a hole, and then the other, um, the other drill is an impact wrench where we're uh, torquing down. The torquing action also, because of the bolts, it also helped to uh, straighten out the, the, all the bending we did on the yellow part up there. Um, helped to pull it down. What was that called? <laughs> the yellow bendy part, the, the rainy gutter thingy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm making this up as I go. What the heck do I know? <laughs> So, you can see we're using our teeter-tottery thing again um, to kind of twerk it up in there. Twerk it? Twerk it, twerk it, baby. I don't know. Wait, what, what, wait, twerk it. Twerk. twerk it, yeah. Pry it into position. Yeah. Not dirty dance it into position. Yeah, I, I don't dance. And it, they don't they, they don't call it dirty dance when I do it. They call it 911. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, once we get into position, and we just, we just we kind of took our time working our way out, making sure we're doing it right. Yeah. What you don't see is the mommy chicken on the inside. Uh, that, that, that's Mama Nerd, my lovely lady. She's on the inside. Yeah. So now after we get it all in there and we're happy with the way it's fitting, then we bring it down and we put some, uh, some caulking in there. This is uh, it's like uh, construction sites use it for like flashing. It goes around the, the roofs and things like that. It's a heavy duty. There it is. It's a polyurethane. Um, it's really heavy duty, um, seals up really well. And we run that up in the groove in there. You can see it pumping it away. Dunk, 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 dunk. And then we pry it back into position. Now the Allure Nerd, yep, right there. That's an awl. Uh, which basically is, it, it looks kind of like, it's an ice pick basically. In case um, you want to shake somebody. <laughs> the orange is the new, yeah, anyway. Um, yep. And then we use the all line up the screw holes, and then we just put the bolts back in, and or start popping rivets. Yep. So we're going to start, there's the rivets, we're using that riveted gun right there you see up in the left. Uh, I think I got it off Amazon, it wasn't real expensive. Um, now we're only, it's not like a heavy duty super rivet gun, but we're only doing this one time maybe. I mean we may do another bus a decade from now or whatever, but um, and it's working good for us. It, it gets jammed every once in a while, and to be honest I'm not certain that that's just not operator error, um, but we're using it. Okay, so we're putting the bolts in uh, with the wing nuts on them, and we're doing about every every fourth one, third or fourth one. Um, I think it's every fourth, and because it pulls it down, holds it into place, so it's firm, tight against it, so we can put the rivets in. Um, yep, see all the rivets? We kind of jumped time there, but you get the idea. And then we uh, we used this um, well, just a two by four and a C clamp to hold it flush against it, so we could make sure we got a nice straight line. That really helped, um, and then we just drilled right into the 2x4. Yeah, who cares, it's a 2x4. 
Um, it's not going to hurt anything. We just drilled the holes right into it. And then uh, we went from there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit that like, subscribe, uh, and leave a comment if yeah. you'd like. And, and patron us. We we are on Patreon. And we, and we tweet. Patreon. No, we don't tweet. No, we don't tweet. We don't twerk either. <sighs> we tweet. No. We Facebook and we Instagram. Instagram. Now, do you want to tell them what's coming oh, up? Oh, yes, this weekend. The Tiny House Festival down here in just below Jacksonville, Florida. Everybody's saying it's St. Augustine, but really it's closer to Palatka. Um, Google it. We're going to be there. We got a spot reserved. Come say hi.